Anytime you turn the car off and back on, the DCCD, if you have cluster output of any kind, is gonna roll through the lights. So that's how you know it's on. The second thing is, when you're in, uh, when you turn off and restart the car, it's always gonna default to auto mode, assuming you have a spider controller. The e-brake light is on, which means no matter what I do with the roller, and as I roll it, there's no change. The reason for no change is because the e-brake light is on. So a lot of cars also require the car to be started for that e-brake light to come on. So I'm gonna put the e-brake down. I start the car and the e-brake light is now on, off and I can turn it on and off as it should. So we'll switch it to manual mode. And now the center diff is only going to do what you tell it to do. So as you roll it from open to lock, open to lock, back to open. And in that time, if I leave it here in the middle, it will always stay in the middle, it won't move in manual mode. I can switch it back to open and switch it back to auto. Manual, auto. Now we're in open, and even though we're sitting at idle, I'm adjusting toward lock. So it is acting more aggressive as we do that. Now when we go drive it, you'll see how this changes as we're driving. So back to open, while in auto, and then rolling toward lock while still in auto. So that's just a live readout, whereas the stock STI is not a live readout. 